Hey everybody, back with Troy at Midwest. And uh, this is one of the coolest things that I got last year or earlier this year from, from Midwest. And uh, so let's talk about this armor wrench. Just a little bit different. Yeah, well we kind of took our experience with all the other wrenches we've used and we uh, kind of came up with our own design for a wrench that we think is... Well, tell us about it. Okay. So basically we came up with a wrench that will do a lot of things where we saw shortcomings with other wrenches. Um, we've got a cutout here for installation. Yeah, hold on right here. Okay. <laughs> for installation of like an A2 flash hider, um, muzzle brakes. With all the suppressor mounts now, we found some of the other wrenches were lacking the proper width mm -hmm. for installing suppressor mounts. This will work. Mm -hmm. You don't have to grind wrenches down, mm -hmm. which we yeah, right. have a lot of wrenches here that we ground down in the <laughs> past. Um, so going on from there, we have two drive sockets for torque wrenches, one here, one here for half inch. So drive. for you guys that might not understand, when you're going to tighten something, then you can put your torque wrench in here and turn this whole thing like it's a socket, for instance, with that wrench. And you have one on each end, so you can actually put it, your torque wrench in the preferred position, which I, is I said nice. that because some of the guys that build rifles don't know what a torque wrench well, is. we know that. <laughs> um, so you have a castle nut attachment area mm -hmm. here to drive your castle nut. Yeah. You have an, uh, a socket, or uh, I guess you'd call it a socket, or an, an area here to drive a Gen 4 or a combat rail barrel nut, R-type barrel mm -hmm. nuts. They do work with some of the other barrel nuts out there on the market. Um, <laughs> I missed that. So I just learned something from that. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, this, the raised portion's actually for a castle nut, I, the recessed portion's for the barrel I, nut, I, and that <laughs> deep portion supports the barrel nut real well. I totally missed that. Okay, I learned something on this video. No, no big deal, it's good. <laughs> um, we've got the pinned area for mm -hmm. um, larger barrel nuts with the pin holes, and then this area will remove a GI barrel nut. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, you have a little hammerhead on here. Yeah. You have a portion here for an A two fixed stock tube mm -hmm. yep um you have a <laughs> bottle opener which we have to have <laughs> um that a2 uh this is for removal because nobody's putting those back on <laughs> whatever you want to do with it man um we have torque specs written on here yeah yeah actually written on the the wrench if you can see that i thought that was a a very nice touch um, these are made out of 4140 steel, heat treated, real phos stuff, mag phosphated, 100% made in the United States. So, no imported stuff here. Yeah, good. Um, I'm trying to think what else we have. I mean, open ends on the socket yeah. so they're easier to yeah. get over barrels and stuff yeah. like that, which is a, it's a little thing, but it's a big thing when you're putting yeah. guns together and you're able to orientate the best way of applying torque to a to a nut or a right, bolt. Right. So um, other than that, that's really, it kind of puts all the features in there. There's really nothing else I can think of. Awesome. Well, thanks for another awesome product. Be on the lookout for more awesome tools coming from these guys. And uh, thanks, Troy. Thanks, Midwest. Thank you guys up here. This is James Jager reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.